You know what GTO stands for? Nobody knows. Everybody's gone. Gran Turismo Omologata. The 66 and the 67 are similar, but the 67's got the looks. 66 has the look. No, 67. 67. You like the eyebrow taillights? Or a 65, an iris mist. I'll take a 6. An iris mist? Four speed on the floor with a wood grain GTO shift knob. Full gauges, AM FM, imitation wood wheel. What a beauty. Even the correct floor mats, but the seat belts look a little too new, like 70s. I wonder if it's an original triple black GTO. 350 horsepower. Doesn't have the Ram Air hood. Rare. We can check for that actually by looking for the free flowing exhaust manifolds, which it doesn't have. But the oil filter would be sitting at a different angle. Four speed. GTO 1967. I take this car in a second. You know a restoration is done perfectly. And it even has the stamps on the rad support. Did Christine have two four barrels? Crazy, huh? Do people think the GTO started the high-performance binge? I don't know. Chrysler was pretty crazy back in 1958 with their fury. Swivel bucket seats. Push button shift. Wow. Sport Fury by Plymouth. Built especially for Ralph Nader. It even has seat belts. Beautiful cloth top. Imitation spare tire on the trunk lid. They're selling these red hoods as better than the rich. Your car came into a gas station for an oil change, and that's one of the things that they did immediately. So a lot of the cars get changed very early on. Really? It's supposed to be the wire clamps. High crust Goodyear's. Nice there, Fury. Is it a 361 engine? Resembles the 383 400 440. Tar top battery. 1959. I thought it was a 58. It's a 59. There's the push button shift. I thought the push button shifts on the right. That's the heater control. It's on the left. Swivel. Yeah. Nothing new under the sun. Nice to see you. Will you do it up and go? I have an empty car. I have a 59 Two four barrels. Next to a Ford mainline. Mercury mainline. Please drive the ambulance when you need ground.